going on guys welcome back to the channel I have another idea so the last time we tried to make a battery discharger um, this is what I came up with now one of the viewers of the last video I guess knows something about electricity and told me that this would have worked except for I was using the wrong style of light bulb he told me I needed to go to what is called a bayonet style light bulb these are your screw-in style light bulbs so this wouldn't work so I took up the guy's advice and BAM found a bayonet style light bulb so I went ahead and got this one wired up so I'm gonna show you guys real quick and there it is so I'm like well I'm successful. I successfully created a battery discharger for nickel metal batteries for your RC car. But I was like, you know, all right, I'm just going to buy a couple more of these and I'm going to basically rebuild this, but with bayonet style light bulbs. But then I got this other idea that maybe a 12 volt led light that someone's already made would do just as good as a job as building going through all the money and buying all of this stuff it was 12 dollars for this led assembly this actually belongs on a scooter and then this is where you would mount the license plate at so what i've done is i went ahead and ran the negative lead into the negative battery, which by the way, I have Tamiya connections. So that way I can get it to where all I have to do is plug it in. Now check this out. This thing has all these other light or these other wires to it. Well, come to find out if I touch a red wire, I get a red light. Let's go to, let's see what orange does. Orange. Orange puts on that, all right. Let's see what blue does. Blue puts on the other side. And then yellow. Oh, yellow puts on that little white LED underneath there. You see that? So what I was thinking, let's cut and splice these four wires together. And then let's cut and splice this together. So that way when we plug it in, the whole thing lights up and will quickly and very effectively kill the battery. The problem with this style is that this gets really, really, really hot. This one bulb got so hot that it melted the mat that I had it sitting on. So if I was to hook up six of them, oh my God, you're talking about making an oven. So I'm thinking that this would be a cooler solution. All right, not bad. So I went ahead and got this all put together and terminated to a single plug. Now I'm curious to uh, plug it all in and see what happens. I need to mount this to something, yeah. I mean, it comes with this bracket. I might as well, I think that'll be the next thing we try to figure out, but let's go ahead and give this a plug. See what happens. Oh, yes. Every light has come on. Dude. Now that is a battery discharger. How cool is that? It's not going to get hot. Look, see, not getting hot. It looks cool. And on top of that, you can mount it somewhere. I think I'm going to mount it like, like maybe up there. Uh oh, it came up disconnected. Maybe like up there is where I should plug it in at mm, what I need to do is finish it up and shrink wrap the connection that way I don't have any more issues until I shrink wrap it but I also need to figure out where to mount it should I mount it to something put a comment below if you think I should mount it to something or we should just kind of like just stick it to the side like this Maybe we should take it off of this. I don't know, you 
guys should tell me. What do you think I should do with it? Oh, by the way, uh, I needed to glue the grasshopper and I glued the gyro to the top of the servo so that way we can get that going. Um, it runs fine, really don't have no issues just yet. We need to hook up our new battery charger and charge our batteries, but before we do that, we need to make sure that they are completely dead before we charge them because they are nickel metal batteries and nickel metal batteries will build up memory and you don't want memory on your battery. So with that being said, I hope you guys liked it. Just a very simple, easy put together video. Hmm. I wonder. Uh, does this come with that or is that only a Dean style connection? What in the world is that? These are the Okay, so those are the banana plugs that plug in. So obviously it goes to a Dean. So I have a choice. I can either make me order some banana plugs and make me one or lop this off and put a Tamiya connector on there, which would kind of be dumb considering that Dean's is a way better connector than Tamiya but I'm not really using it for racing or anything. It's just gonna be something that I take out and play with. So that's why I'm going with Tamaya. Yeah, all right, cool. So I had a light bulb of an idea. Check this out. All right, so you have banana plugs that run into, right, out, that's hot. Damn, that light's hot. See, that's what I'm saying, LED. That bulb, I just rubbed up against it, stupid freaking hot. All right, so this has banana plugs that plug in that terminates to a Dean's. I'm like, well, I can either cut this off and put a Dean's on it or cheer me out this connection. I don't use this and I will probably never use that tile style style of connector, but it just so happens to have a female Dean's on it. So I'm going to plug the male into the female Deans and then this end I'm gonna lop off and put a Tamiya connector on it so that way all I gotta do is plug the two Deans together and then plug that into my battery and now I can charge my battery isn't that a light bulb idea damn dude holy Jesus that is really hot see that's what I was talking about so I'm saying this doesn't get hot at all this gets extremely hot and if i was to put six of these together i remember that's why i used to have to put it on a wood block like this because it would get so hot it would melt or burn anything you accidentally leaned it against what we need is just two regular connectors these are female connectors and you just take the wire and you put well, twist the wire first, that would help, right? Twist the wire, then take your connector and just slide it all the way up inside and then take some pliers and bend those little tabs down and you're good. And once you're done, it'll look like that. And then you just slide it inside one of the male connectors make sure you line up the positive and negative connection lead correct you don't want no accidents this is now mounted to the bench so what i do now is i when i'm ready to use it i take my battery i lay it on the metal plate and then i just simply plug it in let's see if i can do it with one hand there we go like that that way if I turn off the lights, I can still see it. If I have the lights on, well, there it is. So it just sits there and discharges. It doesn't get hot. I don't have to worry about anything. I can take one of those little fans and put a little fan over here to blow air on it. But yeah, I think that's gonna be my new permanent battery discharger. It looks sweet. Let's turn the lights off real quick and take a look. I really like it when an idea comes together, don't you? What a great idea, man. Awesome. Love it. Leave me a like.
You know you guys like that. <laughs> That's so cool.